today's segment, and it's a very important one. Today we'll be talking about American literature and how the ban of books with racial slurs has impacted America. I'd like to welcome the teacher, Mr. Schleschel. Our second guest will be a parent, a local parent, talking about how the banning of books in these schools has been affecting their children. Please welcome Mr. Miller. It's great to have you both here today. My first question today is for Mr. Miller. As a concerned parent, how do race-related books make you feel? Well, as a parent, I want my 15-year-old son to, you know, feel a warm environment in schools and, you know, just be protected. But these books, they, they make me feel like, like this. <laughs> well, what are some of your concerns? Well, the offensive language in the book, you know. My son, he's been using the N-word around me lately and it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm very worried. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Mr. Schlesel, how would you respond to that? Well, as a school teacher, I agree that some of these terms can be offensive to many. I agree. But as a teacher, it is my responsibility to teach the history of the world, whether right or wrong. But when the books that you teach, To Kill a Mockingbird, it uses the N-word 48 times, and Huckleberry Finn 219 times. These racial slurs that they use in the book are overly used. We need to protect our children. Mr. Miller, as educators, we let students read these books because they are not condoning this word, but rather they are simply teaching that these words symbolized what life was like throughout history for different types of people. Good points from both of you. But now let's discuss racial slurs. How do they make both of you feel? Should these be regulated throughout the U.S.? Mr. Miller, what are your thoughts? That's a good question, Dr. Phil. Um, well, my 15-year-old son has felt the effects of these terms. Most of his classmates have been using the N-word several times because they have learned it in an educational environment. This really worries me, and I'm very frightened. Interesting. Mr. Stoffer, what do you have to say in response? Although I am definitely not in favor of these words, it's definitely important to have these students exposed to the past so they can learn from these mistakes and correct them in the future. 750,000 to a million books of To Kill a Mockingbird are sold a year. So each year, many people are exposed to this bad racial slurs. Bad racial slurs. We are already a country divided as it is. We're even more divided reading this book. The only way I can respond to that, Mr. Miller, is that authors use books as a way of expression. They cannot be silenced. Too many works of literature are being banned because of racial slurs or some inappropriate content. According to the American Library Association, between the years of 2000 to 2009, 6,000 books were challenged because of these concerns. Let's agree to disagree. Great ideas coming from both of you. Let's give them a round of applause. Now before we end, we have a few questions for the audience. JT, how do you feel emotionally after reading To Kill a Mockingbird? Our last question today is for Sam at the back table. I wrote this question down for you. Catch. Good catch. Now could you please open up that paper and read us the question? Thanks for our guest today. Next week we'll be discussing erosion with Bill Nye. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy.